So this problem is one of my favorite problems. Not, not this particular problem, but the strategy for this problem is definitely one of my favorite strategies for the SAT. And that strategy is simply if there's variables in the question, there's variables in the answer, you can make up numbers. So the question here is saying that 18 tennis balls cost X dollars. And in terms of dollars, how much will 360 tennis balls cost? So my variable here is X and X represents the cost of 18 tennis balls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign a number for x. I'm going to make x 18. I'm going to make x 18. Now that tells me that 18 tennis balls cost $18. So if 18 tennis balls are $18, I know that one, I'm going to abbreviate tennis ball as TB. So one tennis ball will cost $1. Fairly simple to get that. And then finally, the question is how much will 360 tennis, tennis balls cost? And we know that 360 tennis balls will cost us $360. There you go. Okay, so now I'm going to do, I'm going to go through all the answer choices, plug my 18 back for all my X's, and see where I get $360. As simple as that, that'll be my answer. So let's go to A, 18 divided by 360. I'm going to cross that right away. We know that 18 divided by 360 is not going to be 360, so we know that A won't work. Then let's go to B. 6 times 18. 6 times 18 is not 360. No need to calculate it out. It's not going to be it. C. 12 times 18. And you can use your calculator to do that, but it won't be 360 because we know that 20 times 18 is 360. 2 times 18 is 36, and if you can add that 0, 360, and it makes my answer D. That's it. So if you understand this problem, you can move on. But if you're still not clear, stick around. I'm going to try this problem with another number for x and prove how it still works out. Uh, but like I said, if you understand the problem, move on. All right, so let's see what I'm going to do now. So see in the original, when, when I did the problem, originally I made x18. Let me show you how if I change x, how it will still work out. So this time around, let's make x36. So if I'm making x36, and I'm, I'm working with multiples of 18, so it works out to be a little bit easier. Now, if x is 36, then I'm saying 18 tennis balls cost $36. So if 18 tennis balls cost $36, then I know that one tennis ball must cost me $2. Then the question again is how much will 360 tennis balls cost? So 360 times 2 will give me 720. So I know that 360 tennis balls of the new price will be $720. So that's 720. Now again, if I plug this 36 back in into all my answer choices, I'm going to be looking to see where I get 720. Let's go to answer choice A. Answer choice A now should be instead of 18 divided by 360, it'll be 36 divided by 360, which is 1 tenth. So let me just fill that in. So that'll be that. So that won't work out either. Now if I go to B, B would be 6 times 36, which is 216. So that'll be 36. So again, we see that doesn't work. Then I go to C, and C would be 12 times 36, which is 432. Again, doesn't work out. And then lastly, if I do 20 times 36, that gives me 720. So 20 times 36. All I'm doing is replacing that X with 36 now, and that gives me 720. Again, the answer is D.